Hey guys, it's Arisa. Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but I am back and today we are making some little edible hot chocolate cups that you can eat as dessert or you can drop them in milk as hot chocolate bombs. So I'm starting out with some melted chocolate. This is compound chocolate. You can also use tempered chocolate. I explain why I use these kinds of chocolates in my hot chocolate bomb video, so I will leave that on the screen in case you're interested. I've got the chocolate in some little three ounce paper cups and you just want to give it a nice shake so all the chocolate is evenly distributed and you can see it's nicely coated so we're just gonna repeat that with all of our cups and also I will link everything I use in this video that I can find in the description below and once they're all coated and ready to go you just want to put them either in the fridge or freezer I'm impatient so I put them in the freezer for about five minutes once the cups have set up, we're just going to remove them. So take a sharp knife and very carefully cut a little slit in the bottom of the cup and it should pop right out. If it doesn't pop out super easily, no worries. Just take the paper and peel it off the sides. And you can see at that top edge, it's not perfectly smooth. So we're gonna fix that. Just like with hot chocolate bombs, you wanna take some hot water in a dish and put a metal cake pan on top. And we're just gonna melt down that top edge. And just like that, we have a beautiful, smooth top edge of our little chocolate cup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that step on the rest of the cups. Now the next step is totally optional, but if you have some cups that aren't super even all the way around, and you're a perfectionist like me, you can just clean up the edge with a kitchen torch and a little offset spatula, and just smooth that out so they're a little bit more even. Now it's time to move on to the filling. I'm gonna make a delicious chocolate ganache to go inside. I'm using Calibo Calais. I'll link them in the description below, but you can use whatever chocolate you like. I'm gonna do equal parts chocolate and whipping cream. So I've got four ounces of chocolate and four ounces of cream that I just brought up to a simmer and then I'm gonna pour over my chocolate. You wanna let that sit for a minute or two so the chocolate can start to melt down. Then stir it together gently and you can add whatever flavors you like here. I'm gonna keep it super simple and do a few drops of vanilla extract and a little pinch of salt. And look at that gorgeous shiny ganache. Now we obviously need some mini marshmallows for our hot chocolate cups. I'm using these vegan ones, which I just thought was a cool option for anyone who can't have the regular ones. And I'm just filling my chocolate cups about halfway with the mini marshmallows and topping the rest off with ganache. And then a few marshmallows on top just for fun. If you're planning on eating these rather than using them as hot chocolate bombs, I would actually do a little bit more ganache than marshmallows and mix them together. But it's totally up to you. If you love your marshmallows, then this works great as well. Now the cups look adorable as they are, you could stop there, but we're gonna make some whipped white chocolate ganache and pipe it on top to look like whipped cream. So we're gonna use some white chocolate calais here. I'm using Calibo once again. And this time we're gonna do a two to one ratio. So I've got four ounces of white chocolate and two ounces of whipping cream. Once everything is nice and mixed together, we're gonna leave it on the counter for about 20 minutes and you can see how it's thickened up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start whipping it up. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of cold whipping cream to help it get nice and fluffy. Once the ganache is whipped, it's gonna look really soft and fluffy, but it's actually gonna set up really quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it right away into a piping bag. I'm using a 1M tip here. At this point, you definitely wanna pipe it right onto your little cups, but for the sake of the video making sense, we're gonna put it aside and go ahead and make some beautiful chocolate curls to use as a garnish on top. So the key to making really easy and beautiful chocolate curls is to use a really thin chocolate bar. So I've got a thin piece of chocolate and I'm gonna go ahead and take my vegetable peeler and just run it along the side. Be very careful with your fingers, but it is as simple as that to make some beautiful chocolate curls. Now all that's left to do is pipe that delicious white chocolate ganache on top and top it off with our little chocolate curls. Make sure to keep these little cups refrigerated because they do have that ganache in there which is made of cream and I would recommend letting them come up to room temperature before diving in. And doesn't that look so good you guys? It's perfect for literally any age, even kids and those who are kids at heart. And of course, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and drop it in some warm milk as promised. I put it in top down just because it is pretty top heavy so I found it melted better that way but it really doesn't matter. You can do whichever way you like. And we have a delicious hot chocolate. That is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what you want to see next, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.